never expected this happening one of these days. Wait, Broku, is that who I think it is? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Hello, everyone. My name is Broku Sachin. Here, and today we are going to review the Kamen Rider SA Figure Arts Hirobi from Kamen Rider Zero One. One of my, and one of my favorite characters in the show. Now, granted, I have my problem with Zero One's show, as many other seasons, but I'll be honest with you. I like Hirobi's character, I like his motive. In my opinion, Hirobi was actually a relevant character, but that's just me. So, how did I bought this? Well, <laughs> I uh, bought this from Ami Ami. I'm not sponsored, by the way, I just want to clarify like that. I'm not sponsored. But uh, I bought this off Ami Ami, and oh boy. <laughs> It was a lot, but uh, I bite the bullet. I, it may burn a little bit of hole in my, in my chest, but hey, it was the same price. I did, it, it, he was the same price I fully paid for double last year. Sadly, that's true. So yeah. So so yeah, uh, Hirobi. <coughs> also, I want to clarify this. Oops, sorry. Uh, Hirobi is a. Hirobi is a premium Bandai figure. Now, there is another version that you can buy, which is the Translucent version. That version is way more cheaper, I can say. If you go on Mandarake or Ami Ami, I bet you'll find him for a decent price. But I decided to go with the original one because, well, I've been, well, I've been trying to hunt down the original for a very long time. And, yeah, <laughs> I finally... It finally happened. Look at this. I finally have him. So, so, let's go talk about Hirobi. Oh boy. Right. First off, scope rise. This looks sexy. <laughs> I love the purple. What what kind of purple is it? Emerson purple? Uh, uh, I think so. I don't know, but I think so. I like this type of purple. It looks really good. Ironically, ironically, if I show if I show if I show this picture, this picture what? This figure to my mom, she'll love it because she loved the color. She loved the color purple. Purple is her favorite color. But this looks so good. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I love the design of the hockey puck. Uh, I love the design of the hockey puck armor. We can say that yeah, that that looks that looks really cool. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry. I saw a fanboy, but I'm so happy that I finally have this guy in my collection after two after hunting him down for two years. Mrs. Pre-orders got mad, got all stupid. Second time, uh, a pen. Second time, a penny. Penny when the uh, translucent came out last year, I missed out. Cause I was at work where the pre-orders were happening, and I was mad. I mostly blame work for. I mostly blame work, but hey, I need the money, so whatever. But now, after all, after two years of hunting him down, I finally have him. So let's go on and talk about the articulation on that. So, let's go talk about the legs first. The legs are the most interesting part about the figure. Now, my copy isn't loose or broken or anything. That's good. For articulation for the legs, you make a little bit of a crack there, you can tell. Be careful, because you do not want to break this figure. <laughs> you can have you see how much he costs on the aftermarket? Oh boy, it ain't that ain't that normal. Ain't that cheap, that's for sure. So here's how so here's how he sounds with his arms as well. Yeah, yeah, uh Yeah! Uh you might want to be careful with that. Oh, honestly, this guy honestly, this guy's become one of my favorite figures this year. So yeah, uh, be careful of that because you do not want to uh yeah. You do not want to break that. Now you could get Hirobi into a pose if you want to. Oh trust me, I have a lot of pictures. Uh I have a lot of pictures I'm gonna show y'all because that oh those were pretty fun to take pictures of. Okay, that pose that, that pose isn't good. So I mean uh let me do let me do the classic Right, right a kick. Yeah. You gotta be careful with uh, how you pose him. Cause you not want to, you not want to go, you not want to manhandle this figure. Pause. 
Because that's not good. That's not a good thing for sure. <laughs> so yeah. Articulation wise, he's pretty good. He's a little limited from putting his arms up. I said, well, hold up. No, no, no. Oh no, no, no way. I was say he's a little limited for putting. He's a little uh, limited for. Ooh, hold on, hold on. Sorry, sorry about that. But yeah, he's a little limited for putting his arms up. So you want might want to be careful there. And he can go. He he can go this far for for ab articulation. That's pretty really good. Honestly, Tamashi, I'm impressed. I'm impressed how y'all did so good with this guy. All right. Oop. By the way, I want to say this. Uh, this part right here is really annoying. I try. I try to put it back in, and it doesn't want to work. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Oh man, Hirobi. Pretty cool. I, pretty cool. I have another Raywalk right. Another Raywalk comrade. I've been trying to hunt down because I got Espada, and I love that figure to death. We both know. We both know why. I I said a lot, a lot of good and bad things about that figure in my last review. And now I have Hirobi. Oh man. Now I got wait for Evil Demons coming out this year. Or well, I already had it on pre-order, but still. <coughs> Ah oh, man, this guy, this, I saw, I'm sorry, this, this looks so cool. So, uh, we talk about articulation and all that, and the app crunch and all that. He does make a lot, he does make a lot of, he does make a lot of, e, 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 noise, not know why. So, you might want to be careful of that if, if you, if you get your own copy. So, let's go on to the accessory, car. he has like, not a lot, but decent accessories. For a premium Bandai figure. <laughs> so, um, so let's go on talk about his. Let's go on talk about his uh, weapon first. His arrow slash blade. We can kind of say he used in the show. This is really cool. I like this. I like this accessory. It's pretty cool. How yeah, Hiroshi was the only one in the show that had this accessory. Really cool and love it. And here's the uh, here's the trigger part for the arrow. You can take this take this piece out, put this in, and and you'll be, you'll make a scene like an actual show. Her will be pretty much using like a bow and arrow, pretty much. So yeah. Ah oh, man. So here are his. Oops, sorry. So here are his. Uh, you can kind of say, uh, what, what can I say? Grabbish hands, you can say? Yeah, I'm going to say grabbish hands. I think these are the hands you can use for the bow and arrow to pull the trigger. <laughs> Pun intended. And, uh, and yes, yes and no, I was trying and not trying to make an ultimate trigger reference. Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> sorry about that. My throat, my throat acting weird. <clears throat> do, 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 do. So, here we have. Here we have uh, his open palm hands. These these look more like fisted hands, but still, though, they're somewhat open his palm. You can use them for the bow and arrow. These are his hands that he. These are his open hands for the weapon, pretty much. I'm trying to say. Sorry, I'm I'm so happy. I'm I'm, I'm freaking stuttering. My bad. Fine habit to have this guy in my collection after all these two years. Come on, what? Why are you having a hard time getting it? Oh, right. Here are his fisted hands. Well, yeah, he needs to punch people, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much, yeah.
All right. So, let's go on to size comparison. Cause honestly, you don't have a lot for, for size comparisons. Yeah, yeah. Let's do with zero one characters. So we have his son. So we have his son, uh, Jin. Ooh. Ooh, my, my bad boy is talking. And we have, uh, we have Fua right here. The main character of the show, don't at me. Right? And we, <laughs> uh, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait till I get base Valkyrie on one of these days, but right now we have, uh, Justice Valkyrie. And, uh, right now, in here, we have, uh, Base Zero One. Yeah, the gang is someone almost completed. Just need to get Dowser. And, yeah, in Base Valkyrie, which I, which I have my eyes on Base Valkyrie right now, so, yeah. All right, let me move them out of the way. Beyond generation. <laughs> All right, so here he is. Here he is, right next to uh, Espada, the last figure that I review on my channel. Purple and gold, I love it. Hashtag to my high school colors. <laughs> Right. And here he is right next to the Lightning Collection A Squad Pink Ranger with the correct Ooh. Okay. Okay, thanks thanks. Thank you, stream set. I cannot blame myself for that. And here he is right next to the Lightning Collection. MMPR Red Ranger Raphael. Alright. And one last one last comparison here is with uh deck and break. Because well, why not? <laughs> well yeah, of course. Deck and break's gonna be a little bit taller, but hey. You can uh use them for take pictures with, with Rangers or Sentai if it doesn't matter. <coughs> But uh, yeah, overall, what do you think of this figure? Oh, hold on. Sorry, my camera acting over So overall, if you if you like if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, post my notifications on for my next video, maybe a podcast review or a toy review. Who knows? But uh, yeah, follow all my social media in the description as well. Yeah, to my next video. Bye. We'll say this. If you like this figure, go buy it. Because, well, if you like Zero One, this is a must-have. I will say, he is expensive on the market, so be careful of that. Because he ain't cheap. That's for sure. He ain't cheap. That's for sure. Yeah, and then he's a premium Bandai figure. And premium Bandai figures aren't the cheapest. So, yeah. All I'm going to say is, if you like Zero One, you like Kamran, go buy Hirobi. But if you don't like Zero One, then you don't have to go buy him. Simple as that. But that's all I'm going to say. Till next time, guys. Bye and enjoy the pictures.